Hello, in this session I'm going to show you how to add text or do some typing on an image. So if you open the boat image, um, in this image I'm going to use it as like an advert for holidays. So you can choose what text you want to write. There's two ways to add text. You can either just click in the space and then just start typing. So if I type say book you can see it's gone off the page there so what you can do is you can make sure with that text layers highlighting control and T and then you can move that to where you want it so and I can change the text by clicking in it I just have to press return to hit where I can Oh there. So you can put a capital B there instead. So there's that way to do it, um, which I don't particularly like that much. I'm just going to delete that. So there is another way to do it. I'm just going to delete that layer, delete layer. And that's to draw a box where you want the text. So if you just click in the corner and then just drag so I want the text to be in that box and then because I've got center highlighted it starts putting it in the center I'm going to reduce the font down a little bit so it's 150 I'm going to drop that down to 100 click back in there so book yo and then I'm going to hit return flights here. So you can either have it centered like that or you can highlight it and then you can have it to the left or you can have it to the right. I'm just going to leave it centered for now. And you can change the colour by um, highlighting it first and then if you click on the colour you can choose a colour so you might want to have it pale blue. Okay and then you just click out of this in the box and then that'll set the colour and I preferred it yellow so I'm going to change that back to yellow I just need to highlight it first so I highlighted change that back to yellow okay and then click in the box so book your flights here now we can leave it the text as it is like that or we can edit it so it's a bit bit so it looks a bit more 3d so to do that you right click in the text layer here and then you can choose blending options at the top and in the blending options i'll just move this underneath you can go on bevel and emboss so you can see just by clicking bevel and emboss it gives it like a 3d effect with like a gold highlight on there and you can have contour and you can have texture so it adds i don't know if you can see there it adds texture and then if you click on contour you can change that by dragging and dragging this thing along you can click that as well if you wanted to and you can change the curvature of it as well so it is quite advanced what you can do with this but I'm going to leave the texture off I'm just going to leave the bevel and emboss on because I quite like the bevel and emboss so I'm just going to click bevel and emboss so bevel and emboss has got other settings as well and it's just a case of playing with them so you can have chisel hard you can have chisel soft you can change the size of the um, shadowing inside of it you can soften it or you can change the angle of the light you can see how the lights changing on this shape and you can change the angle of the light so it's the same as on that shape um, quite like it underneath like that 
and you can change the contour the cone you can change that so you can have it look at the square how that's changing I'm just gonna gonna click OK on there but I think I've spoiled it so what did I do wrong there I changed the glass contour so I'm just gonna move this back where it was <laughs> okay that's better isn't it um and then you can change the side make the size a bit bigger soften it a bit more and then you can change all of these different blend modes as well if you wanted to you can just mess about with them so it's just a kit you can have inner shadows you can have inner glow so the inner glow if we click that you can change the opacity of it you can add noise to it you can move just just play with the settings till you find something you like um, you can have kind of a jitter to it well, I think that looks quite cool doesn't it I'm just going to click OK to that so you've got a beautiful 3D text there. Can you see if I'm moving? It looks like beveled, it looks 3D, and it looks kind of cool. So we can change that text. We can make it bigger by uh, clicking Control and T, and then you can drag it out. I'm going to drag it down. And then we could move it this way a bit more so it's in the center and then hit return and that sets it so book your flight here we'll probably need a telephone number so i'm just gonna slide this along so we're going to have to drop you can change the settings on this side as well so i'm just going to drop the uh down to 50 for the numbers um I'm going to leave the colour as it is and I'm just going to type in here telephone dot and then just make up a number there you are and I can leave that like that or I could I could change that as well by highlighting it <clears throat> by clicking in the box blending options and then going through the whole process again so you can see that's changed and then click OK so I've made a beautiful uh, designed advert now with this beautiful text there's lots of different possibilities you can use um, you've also got like this um, where you can bend it and things like that you can make it into an arc you know like you can in word which is very similar to word as well but i'm not going to do that so that's how you can add text and i will be adding further videos and how you can make your text more interesting um, but until the next video thanks for watching bye for now